Today we are looking at a summit trumpet that has been plated silver and gold. We don't offer silver and gold plating here. However, if you want your horn silver and gold, or gold and silver, or solid silver or solid gold plating, um, we can certainly set you up with our plater. And uh, with a rush order, they usually have about a two week turnaround time. The reason we don't offer it is uh, simply because it's faster for our customers to order it directly through them. So, <clears throat> this horn is a Lee Pipe 4 Bell 7. It has sculpted parts, uh, which creates a little extra sparkle and an interesting effect. The top braces are sculpted, finger rings, the trim kit is in 24 karat gold and that's sculpted. Receiver is sculpted and then both of the Saturn nuts are sculpted as well. You can see this is an SWE tuning slide. I'll just pull that out and show it off for a minute. Again, the SWE tuning slides are different from any other type of tuning slide. Um, in that they are milled out of two pieces of brass and then put together. So there is a seam here, even though you can't find it. There's a seam down the middle. And that allows me to mill out the bore size exactly with a ball mill the exact size so that it's perfectly smooth on the inside and it's twice the thickness a normal tube can be built, uh, bent and because it is not bent but milled I can control the thickness of the tubing the wall and uh, that allows me to design it to be more efficient which it is very efficient so uh, this particular horn uh, we're sending off for someone to try out but when it comes back it may be part of our current sale running right now and uh, you may see this again in the beginning of October uh, up for sale I believe this horn is normally $44.95 plus the, uh, the silver and gold plating puts it somewhere around I think $4,900 so if you're interested in this horn let us know but either way it's fun to hear so I'll play a few notes on it So there I'm in the key of C sharp, sounds very well in tune. particular setup, the Lee Pipe 4 Bell 7, it produces a more open blow than you'd find on a standard Bach, and the 7 bell is 5 and a half inches, so that spreads the sound to the sides of the room more. It's not as focused. It fills the room more than normal. So you get kind of this vibrant sound that has kind of a frilly edge on the sides of it. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, it works well for lead, for classical music, for combo, but um, I guess its its strengths are in a small combo setting or a solo setting where your sound can blend and kind of spread out over top of other instruments and other players because it's a more broad sounding horn than you'd find with, you know, say a standard trumpet. <laughs> and flexibility are very, very smooth and all the notes lock in on all the partials. And the scale from C to double high C all locks in. Alright, 
so I was just playing on my version of a B4LP. Now, it's not the same as uh, the one you would normally buy. It's a little different, but it's closest to that mouthpiece. Um, I'm going to play on something bigger. This mouthpiece has a big throat to it. I don't know if you can see that. Compared to a normal mouthpiece, it's about two and a half times larger than a normal throat. And it broadens the sound. Just becomes very bright. It's a perfect lead sound. <laughs> 